In this video, I will give you five tips and tricks on how you can improve your sawing skills and how you can improve the performance of your Victorinox saw blade. So stay tuned. Hello YouTube, welcome to another Swiss Army Knife tip and trick video. Today's topic is all about how you can use, how you can work with the Swiss Army Knife wood saw as efficient as possible. But first, I want to show you some basics and after I will show you my specific tips and tricks. A key factor that you can achieve an efficient sawing technique is that you are able to clamp and stabilize your workpiece as good as possible. I assume you don't have a wise in the woods. That's why your clamping technique is very important. If the workpiece can move during the sawing process, you have always the risk that the teeth of the saw blade will jam in the already self-made groove. Especially at the beginning of the cut, if the saw blade is not very well guided. Let me show you what I mean. As long as you are able to guide the saw blade parallel to the sawing groove like this, it works perfect. But as soon the workpiece starts to move or as soon your sawing position is not stable and the knife starts to move, the teeth of your saw will stock, will jam into the self-made groove like this. If you saw parallel, you don't have this problem. And this is often the case, in my experience, when kids try to saw. So they never come in a certain sawing flow, because every five seconds the saw blade stuck in the self-made groove. Of course, depending on the situation, there are always different options how you can hold your workpiece. Doesn't matter if you hold your workpiece with your hand, with your knee, or with, with your foot, or whatever. Mostly, the best option is to press your workpiece against a raised, flat, stable base. For example, something like this. And pressing the workpiece as close as possible to the edge and sawing as close as possible to the edge gives the maximum stability. Because this is not stable and this is also not stable. This is stable. Clamping the workpiece with your foot is, in my opinion, the most powerful and most secure option because you are protected through the shoe. Of course, you can also hold the workpiece with your hand. That's also possible. Now to my technique tip number one. That you are able to cut efficient, it is super important that the sawing action and the sawing forces face always against the raised stable base. That's why never cut like this. Saw always like this. Saw always in the direction how you press. Because here are the stops. These are like the cheeks of a vice. I show you what I mean, and I don't change the, the, the pressing force. Is this stable? No, this is absolutely not stable. But is this stable? Yes, this is super stable. Can you see the difference? And if you are the opinion that this tip is a very boring, a very bad tip, because this is totally logic, I have to say 90% of the bushcraft YouTubers from my watch their videos, they use their saws totally wrong. Even if they have millions of subscribers, sorry. <laughs> tip number two, whenever possible, give the sawing action out of your shoulder and not out of your elbow, like Mickey Mouse and 99% of the people do. Because if you give the sawing action 
the force is out of your shoulder and if you stretch your arm so that you can transfer the power from your shoulder to the saw blade, you have much more power and the better guidance accuracy. I'll show you now how this works. So, first step is to clamp the stick as close as possible to the edge, saw as close as possible to the edge, stretch your arm and give the motion out of your shoulder and not out of the elbow, like this. And believe me, like this you have much more power than like this. Tip number three is all about how to clean a dirty saw blade. But for that I have to go back home to my workshop because there I forgot all the things I wanted to show you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but believe me, you can do that also outdoors. So what you can see there are resin spots. And this happens if you cut wood and branches from conifers. And these resin deposits are responsible for a significantly higher resistance during the saw work. That's why I highly recommend to clean such a saw blade. At home in your workshop you can use nitrocine or acetone or other solvents or you can also use WD-40. This works also fantastic. If you are outdoors, you have maybe butter or alcohol for your alcohol stove or maybe you have oil, in this case olive oil, for cooking. I will show you that now with olive oil. So olive oil is for sure not the most aggressive cleaner for this purpose, but as you can see it works and the saw blade is clean again. Tip number four is a technique how you can straighten a banded saw blade at home very precisely. But first I want to show you how it can happen that you bend the wood saw. So the Victorinox wood saw works in both directions. This is a pull and a push saw. So you can make a sawing action if you push and you can make a sawing action if you pull. The problem is if you pull too far and the saw jumps out of the sawing groove and you can't stop the move, you want to go over to the, to the pull motion, it can happen that the tip crash on the stick because you don't hit the sawing, the sawing groove again and now it can happen that the saw bends. In my opinion this is the reason number one why people bend the wood saw. And believe me or not, even a slightly bended wood saw is the reason for much more resistance during the sawing process. So if you want to straighten a bended wood saw of course you can make like this and give a counter pressure. But much better use this technique. Because like this, you can straighten a banded wood saw very precisely. Some years ago, I made a separate video to this technique. The link to this video you find here and in the description box below. The last trick is a very quick and easy one and it's about how you can reduce the friction of the saw blade in the wood. And for that you need an old candle. 
All you have to do is to put some wax on both sides of the wood saw. Like this. And I tell you, it is crazy how much this wax reduces the friction. I saw this trick two or three weeks ago on a video from my friend Joe Price. Joe Price is a fantastic bushcrafter. And I was really surprised how well this trick works. At least for a short time. This is not a long, this is not a long time solution, but for a short time this trick reduced the friction enormous. So the link to Joe's interesting YouTube channel you find here and in the description box below. So my friends. I hope this was an interesting video for you. I hope you could learn something. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!